Hello from Sweden and welcome back to another reading. Today's reading is urgent guidance from your spirit guides. They need you to know this and I have prepared four different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. Also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. And in pile one we also have this card. In pile two, we have this card. And we have pile three. And pile four has this card. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Otherwise, you'll find the timestamps shared in the commentary section. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. So let's start here with your oracle card. You felt drawn to this fiery woman here. We're gonna take away this tape to see what is behind. And uh, we have anger. Mm. Hmm. I heard anger is your power. But actually, if we look at this uh, picture, uh, she looks pretty powerful. Uh, hmm, she looks pretty powerful. So yeah, anger is your power. Let's just keep it over there and let's continue here. You have the vessel. Hmm. I want to put them like this. The vessel. Urgent guidance. Your spirit team needs you to know this. Yeah, anger is your power. It needs to flow freely to your body. Don't repress the anger. Don't repress your feelings. So maybe something is going on in your life now. And you know, sometimes we are like, yeah, I'm going to be balanced. I'm going to be spiritual. Like I'm not going to let myself uh, uh, go into this like really intense emotions. But I feel for you, it's the, it's the part like... I feel like <laughs> I feel like owning the anger, uh, kind of letting the anger flow through your body, is going to help you reclaim your power. For some of you, it could be that you are, if you're not like something is not going on in your life right now, it kind of feels like there is some suppressed anger, and you need to, you need to release that. You need to come in contact with that anger because like i said uh and it's it's kind of holding your power there's nothing wrong with experiencing anger or sadness any type of emotions are fine the thing is like to let them flow freely to through your vessel here so it could be that you have some blockage of anger or something she's holding her like uh she's holding like just right above her sacral chakra here so and also her breast here so it kind of could be something with your somebody crossing your boundaries you know this is kind of the sensitive body parts somebody crossing your boundary or somebody did cross your boundaries look here we even have like a fiery sun here so yeah it feels like something is still blocked within you that they are pointing to that and saying hey you need to get angry, which sounds very strange maybe, but it's like kind of like the release. There is some stored energies or feelings within you that just needs to release. And I feel like I want to go out and like do the scream, like a primal scream, just rah, you know? So it's important that you express this to, to take back your power. Because like I said, if we look at this woman, look how powerful she looks, you know? It kind of activates. The anger is like the gateway for you to activate your power. Hmm. 
you know you can be the fire the fire the anger can consume you or you can be the fire channel it through your body and release it you know it's okay to get angry but it's the way we are handling it and the best way to handle it is let it come and go let it release because if we are not releasing it it gets stored in the in our body and it it, it kind of uh, it becomes suppressed and it's, it makes us miserable every day then, you know, it's kind of always in the background, always like, we're always like a bit tense or frustrated, or maybe we're starting to get physical aches in our body because that energy is so heavy, heavy energy actually, fiery energy, some fire is within you, <laughs> there is some fire within your, stored in your body that needs to be released, hmm. <clears throat> eagle ancestral healing wow interesting your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past yeah so yeah this is definitely uh and i think like it, it like i what i hear is like it's time now to deal with this it's an urgent guidance here hey heal and the eagle kind of shows it's showing you it's showing you to put focus on that now, to clear the vessel. So if you have some physical aches or pains or something going on kind of with your physical health, this is the key kind of to release that. If you have some emotional imbalances or mental imbalances, you're, like your mind is, like there's something, there's some imbalances in your kind of overall health as well. And I feel like they're, they're like, the, the eagle comes here and shows you kind of focus on that. It's shining light on that. Um... Uh, on, on those undealt feelings and like I think anger and fire is something that's really and it's kind of like I said this is where your power this is where you gave away your power or maybe keep giving away your power or maybe you have a hard time keeping your power like maybe you have a weak solar plexus you have a hard time putting boundaries or you always seem to get drained and you have a hard time protecting your energy maybe you feel like your aura is not strong enough it's because of this imbalance here <laughs> and ancestral healing so yeah it could be like this is definitely like uh, some kind of pattern or emotions that you picked up from your family and your relatives and kind of the ancestral line that you were born into mm -hmm. you have opportunity yeah look at that woodpecker knocking on your door with the sacred blessing so yeah opportunity this is a big opportunity here like i feel like re releasing this maybe maybe something is going on in your life i like that the, even the door is red and we have a I think it's a bee, you know, and the bee, bee stings, bee burns. Yeah, I don't know. I actually never got stung or burned by a bee, but a wasp, yes. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, the red door also makes me think of fire and the bee can sting, but the woodpecker is knocking on the door, showing that there is a hidden blessing here or some kind of unexpected opportunity. So if something is going on in, in your life right now that is making you angry and fiery and frustrated, yeah, I mean, get angry. <laughs> Let those emotions kind of flow through you. Maybe not react to them in the way that you're attacking somebody or something like that, but kind of like, it's okay. Whatever you're feeling, it's okay. It could be like a big opportunity for you now to kind of heal that because it's very hard to kind of push those emotions up from the subconscious mind. But when we're triggered, you know, they come up anyways. We can't do anything. They're there. So if they are there in your life right now, then do the best of it and kind of try to just breathe through this and scream and, you know, uh, accept and surrender to whatever you're feeling is the key here. Yeah, there's a big opportunity for you here. And the woodpecker here also shows that behind the door, there's going to be some kind of big blessing. The bee here kind of makes me think of creativity. Uh, yeah, creativity and, you know, hard work, effort. So it's like something beautiful, I think, is behind the door here. We have no idea what it is. Maybe it's going to show. Let's continue here. So you have rice with nourishment. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I keep feeling like this imbalance, kind of physical, physical imbalance, and uh, maybe even like em emotional and mental. Like your <clears throat> your mind is a bit imbalanced, and I feel like it's like this this thing here 
this this thing here that is stored in your body, this ancestral wound or emotions, they are really making you unbalanced. It's like a big blockage, I would say, actually. big, Maybe even your biggest blockage. So releasing that is going to create like a good flow in your whole body. So they want you to focus on that. For some of you with nourishment, I'm actually feeling like a detox would be really good. You know, don't push it maybe too far, but you know, it depends on what you're used to or even if you're used to it, but you can try to detox maybe for two days. You know, and if you don't want to like detox completely, you can just eat soups, you know, healthy soups or something for two days and like, or do a weekend where you are taking care of yourself. You do two, three days of detox with soup. You meditate, you're in nature, you do a digital detox as well. You're not on your phone or, uh, and not on the Netflix or something like that. And I think this is going to help you move this energy here, remove it. Kind of because there is an opportunity now and I don't know, we have a 16 here. So maybe the 16th of this month, maybe 16 means something for you, but it kind of feels like an opportunity is here or is coming up. So you can look at the calendar. You can look at the astrological things going on. Maybe there is like a opportunity for you now, like a golden opportunity for you to kind of deal with this, to somehow give yourself healing, meditate, detox, you know, and kind of get this energies moving out of you. So for some of you, you can, there is an opportunity for some deep ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. And this feels like you have some shamanic connection. We have the cactus here. It also makes me think of San Pedro and San Pedro, wonderful cactus to work with. Anyways, makes me think like some shamanic ancestors, ancestors that you have around you that is helping you to deal with this a bit heavier energy that you're still carrying within your body. Could be some karma, could be some generational karma or something like that that you have picked up on and that you have stored still in your vessel. So they want to clear this out for you. Mm. You have boundaries. Yeah, wow. And look at this. Yeah, <laughs> with this makes me think of her aura. So I feel like your aura is not as strong as it could be. And because of that, it's also making you Im unbalanced. You're picking up on things. So it kind of feels like this needs to go so you can strengthen yourself. So you're not easily affected. Look at the, you're naked here. So you're very like vulnerable, but also very sensitive. Look how beautiful you are. You're looking at, I think it's a white... Uh, lotus or something what it is a white flower here but yeah it kind of makes me think like you're a very highly sensitive person maybe an empath and uh, you're picking up on everything but you're also very 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 powerful but it kind of feels like you're not in your power because of this blockage you know this, this blockage is such it's so so big it's such a big blockage actually and it could be kind of you know it's root chakra solar plexus chakra and sacral chakra and those lower chakras because i feel kind of feel like your higher chakra somehow you're very connected but that kind of feels like it's not that important right now i think it's it kind of feels like it's stored in the lower chakras and that is where we are kind of storing those kind of heavier things you know heavier yeah karmas and ancestral things so i really feel like with getting that out of your system Wow, you're going to be very much more, you're going to be more protected by your own energy. And with that, also the, you know, you're going to become more balanced and also the uh, the, the chakras on top, you know, heart chakra, sick, um, throat chakra, third eye chakra and crown chakra is also opening up in a, in a very beautiful way. They're balancing here, but they're really pointing, you know, really showing here with the eagle. You need to address this. There's an opportunity coming up. Do so, like do an effort and it's going to help you. Some of you, you could get rid of all of it if you've already done some work. Some of you are just going to get rid of a chunk of the energy, but I mean, a chunk of that energy is good enough because it takes some time. We have to be honest, you know, it takes time to work through the layers of our karmas. There's no miracle cure. You know, many of us works for meditate and heal and work with ourselves for a year and this is the way to do it if we do it too quickly then it's going to be very difficult you know we can't do it there's it's just too much change at once so this is the most loving way to do it like a little bit little step at a time we're doing so there's an opportunity now to get rid of something here not for you yeah look at this chess board here hmm not for you. So it feels like be a little bit strategical with the chessboard here. 
and we have a nope with a like a, what is it called fortune cookie here so yeah maybe maybe like it's not time for eating that good uh, you know asian food is really healthy actually I, I love asian food but yeah maybe there's no it, it just makes me think like fortune cookie and the fortune cookie says no hmm i think like with opportunity it could be that there's going to be something better coming up so i feel like i feel like what they're telling you now is like hold your horses have some patience so if if you are in front of some kind of decision and it's kind of funny because now when i'm recording this it's the mercury retrograde it's a timeless reading but right now it's a mercury retrograde so that kind of kind of kind of what is it said uh it is like really t t telling us the same you know during mercury retrograde we shouldn't do any major decisions or something like that it's time to go inward it's time kind of to just wait things out work a bit with ourselves look over the things that are going on in our life making kind of a life review so i feel like at this time it's it's like the best thing that you can do now is to wait it out with like any decisions could be for for many of you could be that there's going to be a better opportunity coming or like a better solution coming or clarity coming so for now it's like yeah just hold your horses take care of yourself and there is a golden opportunity coming up for you to release this or a chunk of this so be strategical right now is what i hear here yeah be strategical don't be in a hurry any decisions that you make from a hurry just because you want to kind of be done or complete something or achieve something it's not i feel like it could be that it's not going to be that good you have a fortune cookie here fortune cookie usually tells you something positive you know but here it says not for you so it kind of feel makes me feel like the first the thing if you make a quick decision the, the thing that looked good when you made that quick decision might not look as good in a week or two when you are kind of out of this energy so just wait a bit yeah just wait a bit hmm okay let's see here we're also gonna do your tarot cards I'm just gonna make it straight <laughs> see what else we got here for you <clears throat> i don't know if you can hear the rain but it's raining a lot <laughs> so let's see here you have six of pentacles hmm so six of pentacles makes me think like i said your ancestors are really helping you i would say like your ancestors is your shamanic guides i see some indians <laughs> maybe white eagle because we have the eagle here yeah maybe white eagle is a guide of yours white eagle works with uh, healing yeah healing a lot of deep stuff helping people ascend and g get rid of things <laughs> so yeah it makes me really think that you're really getting help now and but they want you to kind of you know and i say this many times you know they help us but we have to meet them up so we have to do our part and your part here is like do some detox or some meditation take a day or two or i don't know as much as a time as you can look at your calendar and just see where can i have some time for myself what i do where I do good things for myself, you know, whatever that is, walking in nature, exercising, eating healthy, doing some kind of detox or half day detox or something like that, booking a healing with your favorite healer or, you know, stuff like that. I, th I really think it's going to help you a lot. Nine of Swords, yeah. Hmm. Nine of Swords, yeah, there is some energy that you are carrying that keeps on, kind of feels like you're 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 removing yourself from that and then you're back in that and then you're removing yourself in that and it kind of feels like then you're back so it kind of feels like your mood is like shifting a lot you're back to feeling good but then you're kind of back to feeling bad again and then you're back to feeling good and then you're back to feeling bad again it's because there is this blockage within you that keeps on pulling you down weighing you down because it's such a big chunk of it <laughs> so that if it's less it, the, the shifts in your moods and in your energy is going to be less fluctuating like there's going to be more balanced you know so now no, it could really affect your sleep as well we have the fool here yeah look at that hmm so this is really an opportunity for you to step into a new beginning to reboot yourself yeah reboot yourself reboot your brain could be that this is really affecting your mind as well here nine of swords like this 
energy goes up into your mind yeah because we have the eagle as well under uh, on top of the nine of swords so it kind of goes up into your head and then you're like thinking 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 or you know oh what am i gonna do or something like that and you're it's affecting your thinking in a way that you're not thinking clear and i also feel like you're picking up on a lot of energy that's not yours and because you are so sensitive this is very difficult you know being so sensitive being so open and then you're carrying your own like kind of your own journey but then also you're picking up on everybody else's feelings so you're carrying more than you have to and once again it's this blockage it has a certain low vibration which attracts similar vibrations in around you and I think you are probably some kind of healer or something like that or just very open spiritually so it's kind of like naturally it's kind of gets drawn to you you become some kind of trash bin for energies that are not yours and then you like have to work those through and but you're working through things that many times is not yours so it's kind of feels like it's it makes everything become so much more difficult for you so once again release this blockage and you are going with the fool here to reboot yourself <coughs> and <clears throat> raise your energy so it's going to be much more easier for you you have the fool <coughs> you have the hierophant and i feel with the hierophant like i said there was some decision that you needed to wait i feel like you're going to get some piece of information with the hierophant that's going to make like a lot of sense for you you know you're going to get like a lot of clarity so i really feel like your mind is also like i maybe crown chakra third eye chakra is really like cleansing out with this you know detox is very good actually for third eye and crown chakra and meditation and spending time alone it's time for solitude time for hermit mode and being in that cave but doing good things when you are there not just being alone you know that doesn't help kind of you know connecting with yourself connecting with nature connecting with your energy your feelings mm. doing some practices yoga meditation whatever feels good for you and the sun here yeah so it really like it's there is a big opportunity for you now they like they want you to know this like urgent guidance they need you to know this now like don't let this pass you by this wonderful opportunity for you to heal and change your energy the time is now and now or maybe within a couple of weeks if you have to plan it because kind of they're, they're showing i keep seeing this calendar they're pointing to it and they're saying yeah do that now it's going to give you good results do that now and the devil here yeah so they want you the sun and the devil you know you have like four major arcanas the fool the hierophant the sun and the devil so yeah powerful energies that is moving around they want you to get rid of the devil within you which sounds so strange but the devil within you is just this energy blockage you know there's not, nothing dangerous but they want you to get rid of that because you're also picking up with the devil here you're picking up on a lot of energies that is not yours collective energies you know you're watching the news you're reading the newspaper if you do that you meet friends you have family members that goes through things you're like a wandering sponge you know just picking up on everything just because your aura is not strong enough because of this blockage it keeps weighing you down and for many of you I feel like once again that you're kind of picking yourself up you're strong again and then you go back and then it's like so you go forth and back you're fluctuating in your energy and it's like unnecessary they want you to clear your vessel here reclaim that power strengthen your aura and uh, yeah this is the opportunity the woodpecker is knocking here with this blessing for you mm -hmm. okay so pile one this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile one I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile two and welcome to your reading. So you felt drawn to this card. Let's reveal what it says. And we have direction. And there's a woman standing here thinking about which path she should choose or which direction she should go. So let's see. Let's see here we have the crone mm. the crone is about feminine wisdom magic psychic abilities power feminine power feminine power like like wisdom very very strong wisdom the crone you have golden unicorn ascension awaken 
to your soul's potential. Wow. Hmm. Urgent guidance. They need you to know this. Your spirit team. Hmm. I heard shift in direction. There's going to be a shift in direction. Be prepared to go. <laughs> be prepared to go towards where you're being guided. The golden unicorn is pointing. Pointing towards where you're supposed to go. East. <laughs> it's pointing towards between north and east here. <laughs> so, hmm. The golden unicorn is pointing you to where you're supposed to go. It is time now. It is time now to change your direction and awaken your psychic power, maybe? Psychic power, power, third eye. We have the, you know, what is it called? The horn here uh, in the middle of the forehead. Direction. The direction is going to become clear for you. You're going to get the answer on where to go. Okay, <laughs> let's see here. Transformation, wow, Woo. okay. So you have a cockadoo, cockadoo, I don't know the name. It kind of looks like a phoenix as well with the colors. So transformation. <clears throat> and here you are as well, it feels like, underneath here. Underneath, hmm. You're waiting here, same thing. It's kind of like the energy is above you. You're, you're waiting here, you're, you're ready, very ready. You look how you're holding your hands. You're like, here I am, I surrender, I'm ready. So in, even here with direction, it kind of looks like you're waiting to know which step to take next. And they're saying like, you're going to get a very clear direction on where to go. It's gonna come to you this answer on where to go next. Very, 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 very clear answer with the golden unicorn, like it's really pointing. Awaken to your soul's potential, ascension. So it's going to give you, they're going to show you, they're going to show you exactly where to go from here. <laughs> so when you get the, the direction, when you get like the information, like you, it's going to be very clear. So if you get any, if you get anything that is unclear, that is not from them, they're saying, wait, they're saying, just wait it, the answer is coming to you, is what I hear. The answer is coming to you and you have honeybee with community. Hmm, honeybee, yeah, kind of honeybee with community makes me feel, yeah, where you're supposed to go, community. So where you're supposed to move or go to, or yeah, where you're supposed to go to. Where you're supposed to go. Are you waiting to go somewhere? Beauty, it's going to be magical, they're saying. It is going to be wonderful. <laughs> it's going to be so wonderful. Honey, honey, you know, is wealth. It's going to give you so much wealth. It's going to give you friendship, community, meeting people maybe. It's going to give you a sense of home where you are going. So it's coming, they're saying. It's coming. But have some patience maybe or wait a little bit and don't go for the foggy, like uh, alternatives, I don't know, if it's like unclear, foggy, something is foggy. Don't hurry, they're saying. Don't hurry, because when you get the direction on what step to take next, it's going to be super clear, ultra clear. You're not gonna have a doubt in your mind, this is the right thing for you. Fork in the road, yeah, I mean, wow, perfect. Yeah, that was what I felt. There is a bit of confusion here or a decision that you need to make here or that you're waiting for something. Don't go for the best. Don't go for the first kind of opportunity or the first answer. You're going to feel it. Like when you, when you, uh, when you know which alternative you should choose, you're going to feel it. It's going to feel good, yeah, really good. From the bottom of your feet to the top of your head, you're just gonna feel this good, golden, cozy energy warmth within you and you're just gonna be like, yes, this is what I'm supposed to do or this is the next step or this is the next opportunity or this is like what's the decision that I need to make. But they're saying, I keep hearing like, don't hurry it, you know, because you're waiting here. You're waiting here, you're waiting here, you're even waiting here. Three cards where you are waiting and not, not moving. And they're saying, that's fine. 
sometimes we wait and sometimes we move they're saying with kind of like a lot of love and i feel so much love from your spirit team i feel like i want to cry a bit because it really like opened my heart sometimes we're waiting and sometimes we're moving they're saying because you are waiting it doesn't mean that something is wrong because you're not manifesting exactly in this minute doesn't mean that something is wrong actually this there is a bit of i've been thinking like meditating a lot about this lately there is a bit of an imbalance when it comes to we manifest our reality like yeah 100 percent it's not completely true we do manifest our reality like a lot a lot that is that is true our vibration and our thoughts and our feelings but certain things we're not affecting and it's kind of law of nature is kind of universal laws and bigger things that we actually uh, because we are somehow limited in one way one way we are somehow limited but with that said also of course we are manifesting our reality big time but there's a, just like so sometimes we can feel bad you know why I'm so bad I didn't manifest this or I didn't succeed with this and you know I'm not high vibrational enough I'm not good enough they're saying forget about all that they're saying sometimes we're waiting and sometimes we're moving so you know not, nothing is wrong here right now you are waiting they're saying and i keep feeling this so such a loving feeling like they 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 are hugging you saying like don't worry it's fine it's coming the answer is coming the direction is coming you're gonna know exactly where to go there's a golden unicorn showing you the way here you know <laughs> so it really shows how they are sending the, the the path is being cleared for you and we don't know why you're waiting did you say like yeah sometimes it's just like that you know sometimes a flower is blooming and sometimes it's dying sometimes you know it's raining sometimes it's sun it's kind of like things it's the flux of the impermanence like they say in buddhism everything is impermanent you know everything comes and goes so we have to experience kind of both the waiting and the moving so there's nothing wrong with what you're experiencing right now if you're experiencing some confusion or you're waiting or nothing is happening it's fine but you need to know they're saying there it is coming you know <laughs> it is coming and it's showing you it's going to clear the path and open sh very clearly show you the way forward very clearly show you what's going on and where you're going and you're going to get this warm fuzzy golden feeling like filling up your whole body because it's going to feel so right so wait for that wait for that the crown here makes me think like uh, hmm you know i mean i have the book in front of me here it says when when it's like when light the the crown says magic clairvoyant psychic intuitive and wise when dark it says vindictive bitter isolated and ostracized <laughs> so kind of makes me feel like yeah you can choose here either you can choose to get like bitter and you're like yeah nothing goes wrong like you can get it can make you fall into negative thinking but you can also use your wisdom and think just like i said everything is impermanent sometimes we're waiting sometimes we're moving so just accept it at the moment you're waiting and like maybe things are really going wrong and you're like yeah things are going really wrong like what can i do <laughs> like i accept it so there's a lot of like there is a time for acceptance and surrender and there's a time for movement so just use your wisdom here don't become bitter or like stressed uh, and if you do just accept that okay i'm bitter and i'm stressed that's fine as well you know <laughs> who cares <laughs> it's like that things comes and goes so and just wait it through the crown here you know with the coin here also makes me feel like it's coming it's coming here it's coming for you like the, the, like they said it's going to be beautiful with beauty here it's going to be magical it's going to be beautiful so don't don't you stress over that don't you stress over that i keep feeling this beautiful love coming from them yeah don't you stress <laughs> don't you stress yeah hmm. okay don't think that you did anything wrong or that you're bad in manifesting or something like that like i said sometimes it's like uh, it's like a bit like a bit uh, hmm it's not uh, it's it's not uh, complete truth that we manifest exactly that everything 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 100 percent is in our hands that is not the complete true it is true it's like big time true but not completely true <laughs> so uh there is certain things and and i don't know why it's very like high information i can't channel that actually even but i just i just know it from kind of i think i know it like i'm open for being wrong of course <laughs> uh, otherwise yeah i would uh, yeah let's just forget about that and let's look at your tarot cards see if we get some more messages knight of cups yeah look at here they're bringing it to you they are bringing it to you 
you know, and look how happy your guide is here. It's like, yeah, I'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming. There is a shark underneath here. And like, it's swimming into your life, not scared of the shark, you know, it kind of feels like the shark is kind of swimming with him here, doesn't it? Because yeah, there's no worry here. Even the cat is kind of falling down, but there's no worry here. So kind of like everything is working together. So if you are like in a fearful situation or a very difficult situation, don't worry about that. They got it under control. They got it under control. I think for you, it's kind of breathe and wait. Breathe and just wait. Knight of Swords. Wow. <laughs> Two knights here. So it really makes me feel like it's coming, like really, you know, because the knights are like moving energy. It's like this young youngsters, you know, <laughs> young knights full of energy and passion and motivation and focus. So they're both like <laughs> riding right towards you, like one with a cup and one with a sword, one with a cup, cup here, kind of like I said that fluffy, like warm golden feeling of love and healing filling up your body and the sword here, clarity and pointing to the direction. Like exactly like the unicorn, you know, almost like exactly the same angle even, pointing to where you should go, pointing to the thing that is yours, pointing to the solution, to the answer, to the next step. Hmm. What else do we have here? And Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, pile number two. It's coming. The good thing is coming to you. Maybe a house. So yeah, maybe somebody needs a house here. There's a lot of things here. But Wheel of Fortune, yeah. The wheel is, there. it's coming. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing you need to do. I don't feel like you need to like manifest and raise your vibration and things like that. It's always good to have a right higher vibration. Of course, it's going to be more difficult if you fall into despair and bitterness and stuff like that of course it's gonna go slower so it's good to like surrender and just accept whatever you're feeling surrender and just accept whatever you're feeling is having a high vibration it doesn't mean that you have to be happy oh i'm happy i'm happy i'm spiritual i'm happy all the time <laughs> that doesn't work like that you know it is surrendering to whatever we're feeling you know you can be actually you can experience anger or sadness going through your body and still having a high vibration it's when we are identifying and holding on and becoming the anger becoming the sadness when we are lowering our vibration but we can keep having a high vibration and letting that sadness or anger or stress whoo, flow through our body flow freely and release you know and then we are very like still here and now so this, uh, it's all about surrendering here. The more you surrender, I feel the easier this energy is going to flow to you. But I kind of feel like it's coming anyways. It's like on its way. It's already in movement. It is already in movement coming to you. So just wait and it's going to come here. And I mean, Wheel of Fortune, big time, good time, B big time, good thing coming <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's going to help you out. It's going to end those uh, worrisome nights that you have. You're sitting here, you're journaling and you're worrying how is it going to sew? How is it going to sew? So it's going to come to end this for you. And we have the Fool. I mean, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Nine of Swords and then the Fool. So really coming to free you. Really, really coming to free you. So yeah. Hmm. Should we do one card here? I think we can fit one more card. So let's see. Yeah, we do one more card. Queen of Swords. Wow. So yeah, that was a good last card. So yeah, look at you. So you went through all this and all the, in the end, in the end, you can think like, yeah, it was not necessary to worry that much <laughs> because it actually solved. So it could be that, yeah, you're going to realize maybe not even until the end, which is fine, you know, who cares, that you, your worry was not like kind of 100%. Yeah, like you, you didn't have to worry because it did work out. So Queen of Swords kind of shows how you took the decision, you got the clarity, you moved from the situation that you were in, you are on your new path, you started your new beginning, you're off, you left this behind, and now you're sitting here showing your sword, showing your victory, your triumph, you know, your triumph over that difficult life situation, or, you know, that unclarity or whatever it was you were dealing with. Yeah, you triumphed over that, and you're sitting here, and you're, you're here, you live to tell the story. So you're here, and you want to tell the story. Yeah, does anybody want to hear my story? <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so a, success, a good story here. Yeah, there's something good coming here, you know. They want you to know this. I mean, it's going to work out and everything is going to be just fine. Mm. Okay, so part two. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. 
if you feel like sharing a story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, part two. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile three and welcome to your reading. So let's look at your first card here and let's peel off this tape and see what it says. Gratitude. Mm, wonderful. Okay, let's just put it over here and let's start with your oracle cards. You have division. Hmm. Want to put it over here. Okay. You have the fox shadow work. There are no shadows without light. Hmm. Orange, orange. Thinking of creativity, division. Hmm. We have tame and attain. Tame and attain. Okay. You have sun with faith. So we have a mountain here and I actually noticed that also in the vision card we have a mountain up here. Mountain and there is somebody in the cave. You see here almost at the top here there's somebody in the cave here. The mountain symbolizes usually like some kind of challenge or obstacle but that gives a very good reward when you come to the top. It kind of symbolizes enlightenment as well but when we come to the top we get that good reward. So sun, faith with a kind of like mountain top or whatever it is here like yeah i like like mountains here kind of makes me feel like you're going to reach the top here and you're going to be very grateful so you, they want you to know this the vision that you have is going to come true you have a vision you've been following that vision you've been like maybe even with the fox it's been very tricky for you to guide yourself forward tame and attain yeah it could be like very like a wild journey towards a wild journey for you to kind of reach the, the the achievement or completion of your vision or reach your goal. Yeah, a wild journey like when you're climbing a big mountain, you know, it could be very, it's very challenging to, to climb like one of these huge mountains. So yeah, it's been a challenging for you and you needed to kind of tame yourself and they're also saying, yeah, it's going to be worth the effort. Like, shadow work and tame and attain kind of feels like yeah there's going to be there is some obstacles on your path but like when you're when you're going through that you can you can overcome the obstacles one thing that i'm feeling here is like if you fully go for this vision that you have it's going to give you some success so don't be scared of the work here with the shadow work and tame and attain, don't be scared of the work. Don't be scared of the obstacles that is in the way for you to reach this. Have faith here. Because I think, really think that you're going to reach the top here. So don't stop just because something pops up on the way. Pops up on your journey. A wild, I keep, I heard like a wild journey. Some of you is really like a wild journey. And it's going to demand some effort from you. But you're going to be grateful in the end that you did it. If you, if you follow this true, it's going to be very good, they say. You're going to be very grateful that you did that, <laughs> is what they're saying here. And you have self-reflection. Hmm. Self-reflection. Interesting. What's the last card here? And loyal heart. Be loyal. Okay, be loyal to your vision is what I'm hearing. Be loyal to your dream. Be a responsible dream owner. It's not just getting a vision and a dream. It's also working towards that. Be strategical with the fox. It could be like tricky, tricky path for you to reach it. But like I said, it's going to be all worth it. One thing with the fox shadow work and self-reflection, this, the path, you know, towards your vision is also going to force you to look deeply within certain flaws that you find within yourself that you think that you have you know there's no flaw flaw persons flaw well, let's forget about that <laughs> yeah it's gonna force you kind of to really face certain aspects of your personality that might not be that comfortable you know but i think it's going to be fine so it's she looks like she's she's like yeah she has her eyes closed you see that she doesn't even look at herself so kind of dare to look at yourself. Dare to look at yourself and you're not going to get disappointed. There's certain things that needs to come out to the light. There's certain things on your path that needs to be 
seen and kind of maybe released, but also kind of seen, you kind of like you are releasing certain things that are not really you, or like certain things in your personality that's not really like doing any good for you anymore. It's like releasing that, but also seeing the good virtues that you have in your personality, the good things that you have going from you, going for you. And then tame and attain. Yeah, kind of it's like taming yourself, you know, taming yourself. Use the best, use your virtues, use the best parts of your personality, of your virtues, of your strength or whatever it is, of your gifts, talents and ability. Use the best that you have to reach your vision and tame like other things that is not really going for you maybe you are experiencing um, I don't know you have a tendency to postpone things or you know get like overwhelmed over certain things kind of work those through so yeah focus on because we have shadow work here so it could be certain things that you need to work through and kind of like better yourself but kind of for your own self growth so it kind of feels like you're growing with this vision you know it's it's a uh, when somebody's climbing a mountain top, you know, big mountain here. Like, I don't know, like which mountain we should say here. Like, yeah, some difficult mountain that you want to climb. And, you know, it's a whole journey. For, maybe it's going to take you months or years or weeks or who knows. But during, you know, you're not going to be the same person when you started out at the bottom of the mountain. You're like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to like go for it. And then you're going through, you know, going climbing up through the mountain. Maybe, you know, uh, you run out of food or it starts snowing or you know your your shoe breaks or you know something you become wet you get a blister and it becomes so difficult so you know all journeys has their difficulties and because of these difficulties you're growing a lot so you're not going to be the same person from when you started going after your vision until when you are when you aren't on top, you have also changed a lot. You have grown a lot, you know, like a lot, a lot. And I think it's, it's going to be very good. That's kind of maybe that's because maybe that's the why the uh, why enlightenment is also symbolic for the mountain, because, you know, climbing a mountain, reaching the top, also the mountain top, you know, symbolizes kind of the crown chakra. So I feel like, yeah, there's going to be like a big shift, but you need to take steps. For some of you, maybe you didn't even take the first step. It's like, yeah, come on, take the step here. It's going to be good for you. Not just because you're reaching your vision here. Not because you have the potential to fully complete this and achieve this. You know, reach this. Also because the growth that you're going through while trying to reach this. It's so important. Like very, very important for you. It's going to change you so much. You know, whatever we do, whatever journey we go, even if we go backpacking, you know, a month or two or maybe six months or whatever, or if we go abroad and work somewhere or whatever we do, whatever kind of journey we do, even maybe starting exercising, eating healthy is a journey. Whatever journey we go on improves us. So I feel like there's going to be so many good things. So they're also saying like, don't just focus on reaching the top of the mountain here. You know, you're going to get there. Have faith that you're going to get there. But the journey is so important for you, where you are changing so much. And it kind of feels like when you are at the top, when you reached your vision, you're going to be ready to fully embrace it and achieve it and kind of like yeah you're ready to re reach that goal line so there's a whole thing going on here be loyal be a responsible dream owner be loyal to your dream and your vision hmm. and don't be scared in, in what looking at yourself you know looking at yourself looking at maybe you have problems maybe with your self-worth or your confidence it could be that your confidence is going to get like a bit oh yeah no it's scary you know sometimes we're scared to try because we don't want to feel bad you know we want to feel yeah because if we have a low confidence or maybe we don't have a low confidence but then we are like doing something and we're not really succeeding the first time the third time the fifth time we try it's going to be very difficult <laughs> so <clears throat> don't be scared of those parts of the journey have faith you know have faith in your vision have faith in yourself and know that everybody goes through this you know there's nobody that goes from climbing that mountain with no problems you know with no difficulties no everybody does that you know everybody has their problems and the difficulties so we all go through that but the one reaching the tops are the ones having faith 
the ones having faith, the ones that keeps on going, the ones that can tame and attain, <laughs> the ones that not scared of the shadows, the obstacles that kind of pops up in the way, but like, like the fox uses their mind with all their intelligence with all their intelligence guides themselves through that difficulty and they keep going and then something else pops out and then they do the same thing and in the end you know obstacle after obstacle step after step you're bound to reach the top you know and there's nobody that can hinder you from reaching the top if you keep going forward you're going to reach the top of that mountain sooner or later you know every mountain has its ending every mountain has its top so sooner or later you're going to reach that top you're going to <clears throat> feel very grateful for doing that journey and for for reaching that and you can like really start enjoying all the good things here so we got two cards here so let's just do those <laughs> they popped out so let's see here let's just do some more yeah that card also popped out yeah i think that one as well so okay let's start with those <clears throat> and you have Eight of Cups, yeah, look at you. Oh, wow, so you're off here. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, the card is perfect here. So yeah, look at you. You're, you're just standing here at the foot of the mountain, starting. So don't, don't go, go. They're saying, yeah, go. I mean, yes, yes. We're not saying it's going to be easy, but you need to go. It's your vision. I mean, it's a big vision here. You want this. Why don't you just go for it? Try it, you know? And uh, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, it's not going to be easy maybe, but you can do it. Like I said, every journey has their obstacles. If we, if we go on a journey and think like, this is going to be totally smooth. The angels are just going to carry me up to the top. You know, I'm going to be there in two days and then it's done. Maybe some, sometimes it's like that, but I feel like this could be, yeah, that's fine as well. But we have seven of pentacles here. So seven of pentacles shows like it's going to take some time, but that is fine. The journey, if we can't enjoy the journey, we're also not going to enjoy the fruit, you know? <laughs> yeah it kind of feels like that because then you're it kind of feels like growing into gratitude when we're really like working to something towards something if, if if universe just would give us everything like we wouldn't like experience that good feeling of gratitude and i kind of like you know when we work hard for something then we get like oh i did this myself or you know so it's growing here but you know it's very positive cards anyways eight of cups so it kind of feels like you by your own choice choose to go here seeking something seven of pentacles is also actually pretty positive because you have planted the seeds here now you just have to wait you know and it's like that when we plant something a vegetable in our garden it's like like it doesn't help if i sit next to my carrots and i say oh carrots please grow faster Ooh, i want to eat you now please grow faster no you know i water them you know i i yeah, i have a friend that plays music actually classical music for his vegetables very cute so yeah we wait you know we wait we have patience we take care of our dream do the work that needs to be done and it's gonna the carrots are gonna be ready <laughs> in due time they're going to be ready so you have the full insane because we got the full in every pile now <laughs> so yeah the full here wow reaching that top is going to give you like a lot of, and i feel like you're changing so much during this journey so it's not just reaching the top that is important it is also uh, like I said, you growing and changing so much, becoming lighter. You're getting rid of a lot of baggage when you are on this journey. And look at here, you're on the top and you're on your way. Like kind of feels like you're going to fly off the top. So you're going to feel like you're flying. You're going to be so light when you reach your goal, when you come to the top, that you're going to be flying away. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be flying the Empress. I mean, wow. So yeah, you're going to get like a lot of carrots. <laughs> you know, you're going to get like a really, really, really wonderful harvest from this so it's going to be worth all the pain all the pressure all the setbacks all the difficulties if you are loyal it's going to be worth everything everything that you had to go through here three of swords and let's do one more here and the strength yeah you look at this so there is the three of swords and the strength here shows here there's definitely going to be some challenges you know and if you have your strength here uh i mean you you have the strength within you they're saying you can do this you know you can do this it's not impossible if it would be impossible if we would say yeah you know you wouldn't reach the top but you would grow a lot yeah that would be boring but they're not saying that they're saying like 
Yes, there are some obstacles, but you will reach the top. You will experience achievement. You will get the gratitude here. Your carrots will grow here. The Empress, it's going to give you abundance. It's going to even grow. You know, the Empress is very like fertile. So it's going to give you abundance and it's going to keep growing. The Fool here shows here, you're also getting rid of a lot of baggage when you're doing this. You are becoming a better person. You're becoming lighter and more happy. I mean, <laughs> this is a good deal. So they're saying like, keep going. You know, keep going. Do do there are no shadows without light yeah so bring light into every obstacle that you're uh, every obstacle in your way in your way bring in some light use your brilliant mind and work yourself through that and then go step by step by step by step and at the end you're going to reach the top like i said you're bound to reach that top the top is yours <laughs> the top is yours yeah hmm hmm Mm -hmm. yeah okay pile three so this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile three i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye hello pile four and welcome to your reading so let's start with the card you felt drawn to and let's just peel this off and we have listen. Hmm. Very beautiful card here. So kind of, yeah, it feels like she's getting some information here. She's like very like listening, very like, uh, hmm, intentively listening very clearly. It's like very happy with the information that she's getting here. Very satisfied with the information. So let's see what that means you have the sword the sword hmm yeah. yeah so there's some clear guidance here they have some clear guidance for you here so let's see here so they're kind of saying like yeah they're the first thing they're saying yeah listen up now <laughs> listen up now we have something to tell you they're saying so let's see <laughs> ladyboard luck all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Wow, so they're saying, yeah, we heard you. We know what you want. We've been hearing your prayers. We've been hearing your prayers and your intentions. And we hear your affirmations and we see you. It's what they're saying. So first thing they want to say is like, yeah, we're here. We are here with you. You're not alone. We are, we are seeing and hearing everything that you're going through and that you want and that you need. Hmm. You also have... No, wow, that's just insane. Prayer answered. What? <laughs> wow, I got shocked, you know, because, yeah, they're giving it, they're bringing it. Look at this. Your prayer has been answered and we are bringing it to you. But why is this big ox or whatever it is, this big animal, bull, this big bull is in the way, you know? It's like, yeah, what's with the bull? Yeah, the bull kind of, is kind of like a very stable, maybe a bit slow, you know, it's the earth energy. Maybe you need something that's going to help you out in your like everyday life, like you're something tangible, something that you can touch and, and uh, like something physical that you need in your life. But anyways, they're saying we hear you and we're bringing it to you. And the bull is a big animal. So they're being, it kind of feels like they're bringing this big time to you. It's like, I kind of see like a big load of things coming towards you that you want. <laughs> luck. Yeah, you got luck here. So, wow. I mean, you have some really nice spirit, spirit team. They have really have, I think like your spirit guys have some powers. Like all spirits, of course, have some powers or another. But I feel like they really have the, oh, they really have the ability to bring you things physical things into your life so they said yeah we heard you we heard you all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard your prayer has been answered we are bringing this to you <laughs> i mean wow so a super positive reading we have oak tree with ancestors hmm. oak tree oak also wisdom wisdom Hmm. I heard use your abundance with wisdom. Some of you are really getting like a lot. Something, yeah, something big maybe. Something big. Let's see what else we got here. We have deep knowing. Hmm. 
sleep knowing and the last card here is gratitude yeah you know you're gonna get a lot and it's interesting here because we got ancestors and then also we got like a, a young hand holding an older hand with gratitude here so i feel like you're going to get something old <laughs> sounds strange to say like but like like some of you i i, I can't okay so this is like i feel like you're getting like a house or moving to a house that is a bit but very like old but kind of stable like not old not, old doesn't mean like it's like yeah ugly or like not stable like oh it can be very renovated you know very fixed but kind of feels like like very something very stable maybe it doesn't even have to be a house it feels like use it with wisdom they're saying we are bringing you something but you need to use it with wisdom is what they're saying i don't know what it is use it with wisdom and gratitude kind of honor honor where it came from honor where it came from hmm honor where it came from deep knowing listen so there's something coming into your life and i, I don't know if it's a house because i keep getting a house but i feel like something else could also be like money but like something physical something physical but but, but, but the tree made me think of a house oak tree big tree ancestors the, the old hand here like you're getting something that before was somebody else's maybe hmm and use it with wisdom it's going to give you a lot of good things if you use it with wisdom if you use it with wisdom it's going to keep giving you a lot of good things actually if we do like this i just felt like doing like this i kind of felt like roots yeah look at that roots going down you know so it's going to root you it's going to help you it's going to help you some of you are you're getting like an influx of money from somewhere or a house or inheritance or like something is coming to you you know the bull like something physical is coming to you hmm and it has a message to you the thing that is coming to you has a message to you if you listen deeply it will tell you something <laughs> Wow, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> I hope it makes sense for you. So let's just like, uh, yeah, let's keep this card here. Let's put it over here. Let's do tarot cards and let's see if we can unfold this. Oak tree ancestors. Hmm, prayer answer. For some, could it be that you're getting like, you know, ancestors? If you're thinking of your shamanic ancestors, like some shamans, some Indian ancestors that you have, maybe they're giving you something. Like you're getting like a piece of sacred land. Yeah, maybe it's the land that is sacred. Maybe it's not the tr maybe it's not the house. Maybe it's the land that is sacred. You're getting a piece of sacred land. Or sacred maybe it's a gift that is activating kind of but in your root chakra. This is not it's this is not like your crown chakra, like your root chakra is activating. Like you're getting some gift, some ability. You you're unlocking some ability maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Prayer answered. <laughs> you know what I hear also? Wow, okay. <laughs> so, okay, I think I, maybe I did unfold it now. So the card here says, all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Prayer answer. It's like they're unlocking your power to manifest whatever you want. And that's what they're saying. Use it with wisdom. <laughs> And it's, yeah, use it with wisdom. You're, 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 I think they're, they're going to, because you're asking for a lot of things. <laughs> I heard, yeah, you want a lot of things. That's fine, you know? So yeah, maybe you're asking for a lot of things or, you know, you're, you're meant to build something very like sustainable in the world, something very nice and sustainable in the world or in your life, you know, you're meant to, and they're saying, yeah, instead of us bringing things to you over and over again, we're going to unlock this ability that you have in your root chakra to kind of manifest yourself like higher, like upgrading your manifestation skills. And because of that, you can manifest whatever you want, but use it with wisdom, they're saying. Use it with wisdom. And also with gratitude and the old hand here, it kind of feels like, yeah, maybe you need to also share a bit of this. Maybe not just manifest for yourself. Also use this 
gift to manifest for humanity and earth so maybe you're like yeah i want to manifest this and this and this for myself and then you can also manifest something else for somebody else or like for the collective or something like that so it kind of feels like use it use it with wisdom is what i keep hearing yeah share it maybe <laughs> wow this was a different reading from the rest of the tree but yeah it's nice let's see here let's do the tarot cards let's see what else we can get here hmm it seems like your wishes is definitely coming through i mean you're going to be able to manifest the things that you wanted sacred land there is some sacred land coming to you <laughs> If you feel like sharing in the commentary section, if it's like this resonates, please feel free to do so. It's very interesting to see how how it resonates like to individually to you. So let's see here. Nine of Cups. Yeah, wishes fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled. Mm. <laughs> so they're really bringing you this. Your prayer has been answered. They hear you. They hear you. Your your voice is very clear actually with the sword. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, your guides are your you have a very strong bond I think with your spirit team. And they really hear what you're saying. You know, you don't have to kind of strengthen the bond or go looking for them or something. They hear every word that you're saying all the time. You're, they are very connected to you. And they are really like, I think you could manifest like really, really big things. And now they're unlocking, you know, your gift to manifest bigger things by yourself. Because, I don't know, maybe you grew. Maybe you become more mature or something. You, you can't handle this now. Maybe, you know, you can, yeah, maybe you can handle a gift like this now or something like that. Nine of Cups, the star. I mean, look at that. <laughs> what a beautiful, yeah. So some kind of upgrade, but also like pff, you're going to get with Nine of Cups and the star. I mean, you're getting some big things here that you've been praying for. Like a big things. You're really going to feel gratitude because of this Tree of Pentacles. Hmm. And it feels like you're going to be in like a very good flow. So it's like, keep on, Three of Pentacles makes me feel like, yeah, go back to the sketchboard and like start manifesting big. Use your talents, you know, your mastery here. You're a master here, master manifester. And go back to the sketchboard here and start manifesting big for yourself and for others. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So I feel like with Six of Cups, I feel like a lot of old things that you wanted maybe when you were little you were thinking like yeah when i grow up i want to live in a house in the forest and i want to have five cats and you know i want to have chickens and a cow and like i feel like a like a lot of like old childhood dreams are coming or like old dreams with six of cups yeah old dreams are coming to reality finally you know you're like yeah i wanted that like a million years ago but now it's coming true <laughs> So yeah, you've been holding on to some things. There's certain things in your life that you really wanted since you were a kid, maybe. Like I said, maybe to live somewhere on some kind of piece of beautiful land, have, you know, five kids. And I wanted that. I don't want that anymore. When I was little, I want to have a lot of kids. I don't have any anyways. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so maybe it's something else that you wanted, you know, and that you still want. So you, you're still going to want this, of course. You're going to manifest something that you've been wanting for a long time and that you still want. Six of Cups. Five of Cups and the Hierophant. Hmm. Five of Cups and the Hierophant. Let's see here. You're also manifesting a lot of things that kind of, you know, it's, it's very healing for you. They're saying it's going to be very healing for you. It could even be things in the past that didn't work out, you know? Things in the past that didn't work out. So you wanted something with Six of Cups and, uh, you know, you were dreaming about that and you're like, yeah, I want that so much, you know, and it didn't work out. And now you're getting something that will heal that wound from the, that disappointment of not getting what you wanted, maybe at a certain age of your life or getting something, but it wasn't that good that you wanted. You got disappointed some way, you got sad, you got hurt in some way. This is going, now it's time to heal that they're saying. And they're saying like, it's fine, you know, you, it, it, it sometimes things like that happen during our journey. You know, we all, all humans have that. There's part of their journey that they were thinking like maybe, uh, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, they wanted something, but it didn't happen. 
and it's fine you know it's, they're saying it's okay you know you, you, it's time to let that go and heal that maybe you're not gonna get like so if you want kids and you're older and you didn't get kids uh maybe you're sad because of that and it feels like yeah that's the sadness that you kind of and it feels like you need to work through and they're gonna give you healing but you're getting something else so I feel like somehow this wound, it could be something else, of course. I just said kids because I was talking about kids. I still don't want, I don't want kids. So for me, it's, uh, but maybe family. Yeah, for me, it's kind of like family maybe. So maybe, you know, but kind of like maybe you don't get kids, but you're going to get like good friends and great family and a place to share with them. They're coming to live with you. You're eating, you're enjoying this ancestral sacred land together or something so somehow it feels like this wound of disappointment or pain here is going to heal and this is really what's going on here you're going to get something being guided to a place in your life where it's healing with the hierophant with the hierophant and deep knowing you know hierophant can really be about kind of you know uh, information, ideas, beliefs, structures, but deep knowing in the Hierophant went very good together. It kind of feels like you're going to come. There's going to be some very, very deep healings with you getting certain things in your life that you didn't get. So manifesting, you know, it's not just physical things, actually. I feel like with the Nine of Cups, you know, is the card that stands for wish fulfilled, but it's the cups, you know, it's emotional. So emotionally, this is going to be very healing and fulfilling for you. The star, I mean, it's going to renew your whole life. Somehow upgrade and renew your life. So I think like for you, pile four, you are, you have an ability to manifest really big things in your life. And luck here with the ladybird. Really, really the big things in your life. And like I said, at the same time, it's going to be some deeper healing because of this. Because of you going from lack you know, to something beautiful. So maybe you had a difficult family situation as a ch child, you know, and now you're creating your own family. And, you know, maybe you're going to have kids in a house and a husband and, or a wife or, you know, everything like that. Or you, something else, you know, it doesn't have to be that. And it's going to be very healing for you to get that. So there, your prayer has been heard. They are bringing this to you. They are bringing this to you. And it's actually beautiful here very very beautiful the gratitude here is also to your ancestors because you really have some could even be you know you really have some guides that are looking over you extra carefully i feel like like i said it feels like they're very very close to you very close to you and you have some ancestors maybe you have somebody that passed over that is very like really 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 looking have an extra eye on you you know i see them like not leaving your side they're always with you and uh, yeah you have some very loving guides and i feel like it's beautiful actually to feel this energy and deep knowing makes me feel like yeah you know this person who, you have felt this person who passed away you have felt that this person is with you. Could even be a pet here, actually. You know, pet. a pet is a pet when they are on earth. But, you know, a pet is a pretty, you know, they have a soul. They are not in a, they're not a cat, you know, when they leave earth. You know, they can be in their soul energy or their, another type of energy. So they can be like an amazing guide, actually. You know, so it could be even a pet that is looking after you or something like that. And they've been sending you maybe sounds, uh, signs synchronicities or signs you know maybe you see them in another animal or some kind of sign that you know is kind of connected to them so yeah they, they are making themselves known here and if it's not like if you don't know anybody that passed over it's going to be like you have both i think here like like it could be anything here but anyways you have some shamanic ancestors like from from your shamanic lives like i see you like once again like some yeah, like Indian, native Indian, like something like that. And I see like you have certain guides with you that are connected to that. So, but anyway, we have many guides here. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Pied Four, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, Pied Four, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.